starving in Gaza. You are supporting genocide. And it's China money that you people are funded by China. I'm not funded by what you're here to be anti Semite. You're here to try and destroy the state of Israel. Were there crows flying around? It's harpies. Wow. That's more from the Save Humanity crowd today, accosting Josh Hawley, who's, by the way, one of the least pro-war senators on Capitol Hill. Now, you may have noticed that the palms of their hands were painted or dipped in what looks like red ink or red paint or something. Now, why is that? Well, they didn't reveal their thinking as to why, but we do know that back in 2000, two IDF soldiers who made a wrong turn in the West Bank and then were intercepted by a bloodthirsty mob that went on to torture these IDF soldiers and then murder them at a police station. One of the gunmen even spoke to one of the soldiers' wives on the phone, reportedly telling her, we're slaughtering your husband now. And apparently the mob loved it. And one of the soldiers, Aziz Salah, noticed he was covered in the blood of the soldiers. He had strangled and stabbed them. But he knew what the crowd wanted. He walked over to a window and held up his bloody hands. They cheered. Then the bodies of those soldiers were thrown out of the police station and desecrated. So perhaps the next time you see one of those pro-Hamas edgy protesters holding up their red hands and wailing about how they're for peace and human rights, you might remember this image and the story. Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, um, they, for the most part, are following around the Biden campaign, and I believe there'll be a pretty big uh, presence at the Democratic National Convention uh, this summer. Um, what's their beef with you here? Well, their beef with me is, is that I'm pro-Israel. I mean, that's the that's the long and the short of it, Laura. And I have to tell you, I really enjoyed the exchange because when you point out to them that they are funded by China, Code Pink are paid for protesters funded by the Chinese Communist Party. Their money comes from China. It's laundered through a bunch of dark money groups, and then it goes to Code Pink. These are people who can't even admit that the Uyghurs are in internment camps, concentration camps, and yet they say that Israel is a terrorist state? Give me a break. And these guys, it is astroturf wackos is what these guys are, and it's time they got called out. Well, while the radicals are angry um, at people who are pro-Israel, the billionaires are very happy, Senator, with the Biden campaign. The Biden Victory Fund received more than uh, 240 six-figure donations back in 2023. And according to Forbes, 25 percent of the country's billionaires um, donated to Biden in 2020, compared to only 14 percent for Trump. So my question to you is, although Trump has some billionaires, no doubt, supporting him, he had a big money haul last weekend, what is it? That the, that the globalist billionaires are getting from Biden that they're worried about not getting from Trump? Well, the globalist billionaires are investing in making China rich and America poor. I mean, they're betting on the demise of the United States. These are the same people who have happily sent our jobs first to Mexico, then to China, the same people who have moved industry overseas, the same people who love the Biden climate agenda, where now we're going to pay the Chinese to make electric vehicles that no American wants and sell them back to us at a markup while we decimate American auto auto jobs in the auto industry. It's all the same people. I mean, these billionaires, Wall Street, they love it. They make money off of it. It's making money off of the demise of America. So they love the Biden policy. The problem is it is destroying this country. It is bankrupting this country, and it is destroying the working class of this country. They know Donald Trump will stop it, and uh, that's why they oppose him. The, despite what we know is this effort to repair relations with China and placate the Chinese in any way that they can, the FBI director had a chilling warning yesterday. Front and center is China, the defining threat of our generation. If you took every single one of the FBI's cyber agents and intelligence analysts and focused them exclusively on China, China's hackers would still outnumber FBI cyber personnel by at least 50 to 1. Yeah, yeah, Senator, we send Janet Yellen over there to yap or flap with, uh, with President Xi. 
Uh, and again, all these businessmen, U.S. Uh, CEOs go over there and have dinner with him and suck up to him. And this is what actually our FBI director is saying. This is bad news. Oh, it's terrible news. But, you know, Chris Ray, what is he doing with his time? I mean, if China's the number one threat, why is he focused on sending FBI agents to the doors of pro-life Catholic protesters, you know, who just want to march for their faith and, and demonstrate peacefully, and he's got SWAT teams showing up at their doors in the morning to terrorize them? I mean, come on. Let's put our priorities where they ought to be. If China's the number one threat, let's start acting like it. I tell you, the other thing we could do, Laura, is why are we sending hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine if China is our number one global threat? I mean, these people need to get on the same page here. I mean, let's admit it. If China's the top threat, let's start acting like it. But Chris Ray and the Biden administration, they don't believe it. They're not doing anything to keep America safe. They're out there grinding their political axes and trying to destroy their political opponents. Uh, Senator, I'm glad you survived that code pink fiasco. You seem like you're okay. So you didn't wear a pink tie. How sad. All right, Senator, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.